Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back, and welcome newcomers to the channel. You know, I literally just told my wife, I'm gonna go make a slasher video. She said, okay. I was like, seriously? Nothing? Nothing? No, no bad of an eye? And she looked at me, I was like, okay, it's called the slasher. Literally, this is the best tech slasher. <laughs> Ew. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Now, I tell you what, that's a, ooh, 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 yeah. That's some good looking micarta. I'll give you a little upsy closey right to the texture vision, baby. Look at that, micarta. That is some nice looking stuff. There's that side if you want to take a screenshot. And here's this side if you want to take a screenshot. Very, very nice. This is a crossbar lock. And we have a deep carry pocket clip. It's inset into the liner, but you do have a couple mushrooms growing in the shade right there. But there's plenty of, I can already tell, there's plenty of access to go in and out of the pocket. Pocket clip's nice and strong and nice looking liners. Very clean. The edges, uh, they're 90 degree-ish, but they're not harsh. We'll see what that looks like, what it feels like when we do the uh, the old ergonomics. Ooh, and I detect some jimpage. What we got going on here? Um, the jimping is not very pronounced, not very aggressive. Um, it's kind of grabbing my skin, but not a whole lot. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that works out here in just a second. We'll run through the fit, finish, action, ergos, and all that fun stuff, and then I'll compare it to some other knives so you get a good idea how big or small this baby is. You ready to see this blade? Pow! Right in the kisser. Ooh, yeah. I like it. Check out that bladage. Love that blade shape. I love the sheep's foot and the modified sheep's foot so much. I just love them. Nice looking stone wash going on. There's a, there, a, yep, that's the only branding you get is the Best Tech Knives, which isn't too shabby. There's a look at your thumb studs. Thumb studs feel good. It felt good when I just opened it, and this is a crossbar lock. I like their logo, like the B. Can't go wrong with the B, but there's this side. Nice look at swedge going to go along. See, that is nice. I like it when they have these transitions. You have that swedge at the top, then a small flat, and then, yeah, nice flat grind. Very nice, very, very nice. That is an attractive blade. I'm all about that. And then as far as the sharpening toil, it's it's an odd it's an odd oddball. And it kind of it's right dead even with the plunge grind, but you have room for sharpening. I like that. I can appreciate that for sure. Let's see how it is in and out of the pocket. Um oh, nice. No snaggage, really nice and easy, has a nice clip to it. I don't, I'm not getting any issues whatsoever with the snag or anything like that. It was nice and smooth, and then you heard that click. It's like click, click when it goes in and out. So nice pocket clip, nice and strong. I can appreciate that, and there's a really nice look at G10 backspacer. You know, for a second there, I thought it was going to be my Carta, but it's not. It's G10. Let's see what it does to a piece of paper. You know, and I had somebody comment in the last video like, yeah, that's because what knives are for is cutting paper. <laughs> I'm like, it's for fun, right? And it kind of gives you an idea of a little bit of the edge geometry. So let's see what it does. Okay, not too bad. Sounds a little rough. All right, there we go. Not too shabby. Oh, yeah, look at that. A little a what is that, ASMR? I know a lot of folks are all into that right now. Okay, not too bad. Real quick, let's see how much this bad boy weighs. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Um, I'm, it's definitely past the three mark. I'm going to go with about three and a half. I'm going to go with 3.5. 3.5 ounces. And it is. 3.53. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. The last couple knives I guessed on, I was a little low. So it sounds like I'm back on the game. Oh, I probably shouldn't have said that. I probably just jinxed myself. Next time I'll be like a half an ounce off. So your total length from tip to tip is 7.06 inches. You have a nice sheet foot blade with D2 blade steel. Stonewash finish. Your total blade length is 3.06 inches. And your sharpened blade length is 2.88 inches. Your blade width at the tallest point is 0.96 inches. Your blade stock thickness is 128 thousandths of an inch. Your thickness behind the edge is 20 thousandths of an inch really nice micarta i'm liking this micarta it has good texture to it good feel to it your clothes length from tip to tip is 3.95 inches handle width 0.98 inches clothes width at the tallest pot 1.27 inches your handle thickness 0.57 inches you have studs with a crossbar lock for opening it up and we have cage ball bearings in the pivot it's a crossbar lock Deep carry, right side only. And this is the Best Tech Slasher BG43A-1. As far as your fit and finish, we already know the finish is beautiful. Uh, as far as the fit, I'm not getting anything left or right. Up and down, I'm detecting like one out of 100. If I'm really getting at it, I can feel just the tiniest, tiniest little bit of movement. But you have to really try to find it. And as far as your blade lock up, well, with a crossbar lock, 
You're going to have 100% lockup. That's what I'm talking about. And are we centered? Yes, it is dead centered. And look at that tip. That's a nice looking tip. <laughs> Let's see what it looks like up next to a couple other knives. And if you like knife reviews, EDC stuff, and all that fun stuff, this is definitely the place to be. Make sure you subscribe, and don't forget to hit that, that thumbs up button and support the channel. Now I pulled some out that I thought would probably be in this range, in this size range. This is the Kubi Cadmus. Oh my goodness, I've been carrying this one lately. Love it. Yes, okay, we are definitely in the range. How about, ooh, you know the bees hives have to have a stinger. Here's the, the Fair Ford Stinger. Yeah, look at that. So this is not a large knife. This is a more EDC carry size knife. And if you saw my recent video, well, if not, I'll put a little doodad up there so you can go check it out. This is the new Petrified Fish Nightingale. And, you know, I got to show you this one. Look at that. The Civivi Elementum. So if you have an Elementum, which a lot of folks do, this is right there in the Elementum range, maybe a hair bit more a handle. And as far as sharpen length, it's the same amount of sharpen length. Not any difference there. And then a couple more poplar, a couple poplar ones. No, wait a minute. We're not talking about trees. A couple popular ones. Here's the Spyderco Delica 4. Look at that. Same size, just about as far as your cutting edge. Um, it, has, it has more cutting edge than the Delica. How about that? And here's a Kaiser Feist. I figured this would be a good one to go off of since they have a similar blade shape. Um, it has a little more handle. A little more thickness, a little thicker, and definitely more blade than a feist. And then two more that a ton of people have, the Kaiser Original. Button lock, baby, that's what I'm talking. Okay, so look at that. Um, as far as sharpen length, they have the exact same amount of sharpen length. And then you know, you were probably wondering, hey, bees, where, where's the penguin, man? <laughs> Everyone should have a penguin. There's your QSP penguin. And this one, I would say by far, is just about as equal. Of all of them, this one is giving you the best idea of the size. The handles are about the same. You get the same amount of cutting, but I could tell just by going like this, as far as thickness factor, that is definitely, let me do this, it is definitely thicker than the penguin. <laughs> How can I show you? There we go. How about we just put them the same direction? Hey, struggle bus much, right? So let's check out the action in the Ergo. I don't think I said it earlier, but you could get seven different variations of this bad boy. You can get it in blue, black, green, or the brown micarta. I think they call it natural micarta. And three of the versions have the black stonewash blade. And they run about $63. I'll put links in the description if you want to go check it out for yourself. All right, so how do we open it up? Well, we're going to have two ways. We have the crossbar lock or the axis lock and the thumb studs. Let's try the thumb stud. Man, that right there, I already know I did it earlier. It snaps out, and yes, has great action. And you can open it very easily. With I'm not trying not to go overboard. Yes, you can open it like I love crossbar lock knives when I'm doing work and I can get it in and out of the pocket a lot. You take it out, use it, put it back in the pocket. As far as ergos, my hand from here to here is four inches, from here to here is three and a half, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger, seven and a quarter. And this is how she looks. And feels pretty good, not too shabby. I'm giving it the old B squeeze. I'm not I'm feeling the pocket clip just a little bit, but it's not too bad. And then okay, so wow. Alright. Um I don't get I don't hardly ever use the word hot spot, but when I'm holding it in the traditional in the traditional grip like this, the uh, the pocket clip is is kind of sharp. It I'm I'm going with a <laughs> nine out of ten. Now, when I'm holding it in the hammer grip, it's, the pocket clip doesn't bother me. It kind of falls in place right there. That's about as much as I can bend my hand. That is comfortable. I can see do some heavy cutting, but when it comes to push cutting or just a traditional grip, I am that really, really feeling that the pocket clip is very pronounced. And if you look right here, this is where I'm talking about, right there. So that is something to keep in mind. If you're going to be doing heavy push cutting with this, that you definitely want to keep that in mind. Now, taking that aside, if your hand is a little smaller than mine, you know the size of my hand, if your hand was smaller, that pocket clip would stick out and probably wouldn't bother you. But with the size of my hand and, the, and this knife being smaller, my hand's going right past the jimping. I'm not hitting the jimping at all, and the jimping is not stopping my thumb. So this jimping is uh, definitely could use some, some improvement, maybe be a little bit deeper, a little more aggressive. 
Did I just say that? <laughs> but yeah, so it's not locking my hand into place and this is uh, not necessarily comfortable for the size of my hand. Now utility cuts, yes, that pocket clip goes away. Utility cuts all day long. I'm, yeah, I can't feel that at all. That's very comfortable. But man, I'm telling you what, the hammer grip, it fills my hand very well because it's a little bit thicker. That is very comfortable. So all in all, what do I think about this knife? Just as an overview for first impressions, I am leaving, a, I've noticed I am leaving a lot of fingerprints on it. Maybe I didn't wash my hands well enough, but it, it's a little bit fingerprinty. But I love the blade shape, love the style. It looks very nice. The thumb studs work very well. The action works, uh, the action is phenomenal. It works exactly like I expect a crossbar lock to act like. I love the texture. I love this micarta. This micarta is really nice. It's just a tad small for my hand. Just, just that's my hand. So you have to take that into account. Everybody's hand size is different. And just the, the one issue is definitely not this. I was going to bring up that I do like that they gave you some room before you get to the plunge grind. That's very nice. But for me, the uh, pocket clip is definitely an issue holding it in the traditional sense. And then there's no jimping. The jimping doesn't really help me out there. So that's just a couple of things. But other than that, it's a really nice knife. I like every other aspect about it. So I'm curious what you think about it. Have you seen it? Have you thought about it? Is it in your card? <laughs> but I hope you're having a fantastic day. And you're, I hope you have a fantastic week. Make sure you go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. If you don't like it, well, you know what I'm going to say. Go watch that one. <laughs> but until I see you in the chats or the live streams, remember, live life in the present. Keep a Band-Aid handy. And don't cut yourselves.